Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at building a, a list here from our list box. And we're going to use a for each loop to do so. So there's a little bit of nuance here that we're going to go over and try to be as detailed as possible. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing I want to do is create my button click event. So I'm going to double click on my button here. I've already pre-populated my list here with the edit items button here. That's how I have my list like so. We're going to work from a list that's already pre-populated. First thing I'd like to do is define my list variable. This is going to start with my variable type, which is a list of integers. Then our variable name, which is up to the user, and I want to name it int list. Our new keyword, everything on the right hand side of this assignment operator is how we build the list and then we give it the list constructor here denoted by the the parentheses we're running a method here and building the list so now we're assigning new list to int list so we have a list built now let's build a for each loop We want to read from our list box those values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We want to read from them. One of the tricky little details I'll cover in just a minute, but we're starting with a string. Keep that in mind. We're starting with a string, and that's because when I loop through the items here, this items returns a string. So we're going to have to keep that in mind. And we really want an integer. So let's convert our string to an integer. We'll do some protective. air catching code with the parse and this is not needed it's already a string so we're gonna parse here the value we could also do try parse but here I'm just doing parse and we could also do convert. Perhaps that would be more precise. But parse will, will do the trick for us. And now we have the value as an integer. Now we have the value as an integer. Next, we will add it to our list. So int list add i. So now we can add to our list here. The last thing I want to do is display the list that we just built. So we'll do a little message box show and let's do the string join. This will make our life a little easier. And we'll do int list.
So this is going to concatenate our list into a nice visible, a, a single string that's visually appealing. And we'll just caption our message box with integer list here. I do want to also show the convert so this should work with J as well as I we'll test out both So here we have our form, button click, integer list appears, just as we would have hoped. And let's change this to J. Same result. So both of these will work. I think I'd actually prefer the convert method here. Try parse is a good way to do some error catching as well. So what is happening here? Well, let's run through the debugger. I'm clicking show list. We are in the debugger here. So we've stopped right at the for each statement. We've already started with int list. It's an empty list. Count is zero down here. Now we are reading from our items here, five items, which is one, two, three, four, five. And we can see they're indexed and we can see that they are strings on the right hand side here. That's why string value here is needed. So as we're using our for each, we need to say what the variable type of the individual items that we are reading from. So here we have our list box and then I want to look specifically at the items in the list box and each item is a string. The the number one will become a string. So on our first iteration here, value is still null. Value just got put, defined one as a string. And now we have I, so we converted value. You can see as I mouse over, it's a string because it has the double quotes around it. I doesn't have the double quotes and you can see down here it doesn't have the double quotes either the double quotes denote the string lacking the double quotes denotes the int it's also visible with the type here so you have value let's condense bring everything a little closer together value one is a string i one is an integer so now we can add that to our list and now our int list is growing. So our int list is one. Int list is two. Count is two. And rinse repeat. Three, four, five. We've gone through all items on the list and now we do a simple show of the list. Uh, my form is on the other screen here. And that's a simple-ish but very straightforward way of how can I read the values from a list box and put them onto a list so that I can 
do a variety of things with this list. There are an endless amount of things you could do. Once you've collected the data into your data structure, then that's where the programming magic can happen. So that's all I want to cover for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.